Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into another Reaper Hollows YouTube video. Today I do have a new for 2020 slash 2021 Halloween animatronic from Spirit Halloween. His name is Punctured Pete. This animatronic is super cool. This is one I've wanted in my collection for the past couple months now and I'm so glad to finally get my hand on one. I did go to a new location uh, near my house. It is a little bit further than the first one that I toured with you guys, but they did not have any animatronics on display except for a jumping spider. But the, I was fortunate enough to pick this guy up and this guy up. They were both in a box. Obviously, this guy is from 2020, so I'm really excited to be able to own Uncle Charlie and Punctured Pete. Punctured Pete is a very, very cool, um, I believe he's 4.8 foot tall animatronic. He's very cool animatronic. I would like to start off with showing the shoes. The shoes are very heavy duty. Um, if you step on them, they are not gonna break. Like clown shoes, they are like better made. They may be as good as Sitting Scarecrow, if not better than Sitting Scarecrow shoes and Death Rose and obviously Thrashing Clowns. But we can show the face here. This face is so awesome. It shows so much detail. He reminds me so much of a walking dead zombie. He's just so cool in his face. Here's the stick attached to the mechanism with the hands. I will show you guys the mechanism. I will note that if you plan on getting this guy, this guy is kind of a complicated setup. There's multiple different parts. It was kind of a little frustrating at one point, um, but I did finally get it. There are multiple parts and Techie does have you, I believe this is either Techie or Crazy Creates. And this guy really i mean you have to screw in every little part so i mean it does take a while to set up but once you get it it's so cool and it's so worth it here's the mechanism there's a pole that rocks back and forth right there and then the mechanism is actually attached to that pole and attached to the pole the holding the hands and basically it just drives around and it just constantly keeps it rocking back and forth and he's really really cool um, the head was kind of a challenge also getting on because you do have to screw the head on also Here's the control box. The control box just kind of Velcros onto the base. It just kind of sits down. You do have a volume control knob for this guy so you can control how loud he gets. He is either, I believe, foot pad activated or just on constantly. Actually, I believe they might have taken the foot pad jack out. Yeah, so literally he's just constant motion, constant motion. Um, really, really cool. Um, volume control comes with its own adapter. I love animatronics that come with their own adapter and I feel like every single 2020 um, animatronic or 2021 animatronic, both really come with their own adapter. So that's very a very nice touch. I mean, I've got the Wacky Molklon. He came with his own. Puncture Pete came with his own. What else? I've got so many different animatronics that I purchased this year that came with their own. Even the Lowe's Evil Witch came with her own like that's awesome and i'm really glad to see techie toys and jimmy and even seasonal visions just basically handing out free adapters for the animatronics and making life so much easier and making it a little cheaper as opposed to you know spending ten dollars at party city or twelve dollars at spirit halloween for a six volt amp adapter the detail on this guy is very very sweet uh the speaker is right there so you do get very good sound out of this guy and he does sound like a real zombie you do have blood right there. Um, there's a little felt patch right there that shows some blood. Let's see if we can focus in there. There we go. Um, just very, very cool. He's about $169, I believe. He is well worth it. His box is pretty small, but he is definitely well worth it. He's got a little like bobblehead type of action. So when he's you know rocking back and forth, his head wobbles. I will turn this guy all the way up and we can definitely see how he'll work here. This guy gets very loud too for a zombie animatronic. So I practically got all the way up, not quite, um, but practically at the same time. This guy's very cool. The, my only complaint, well not really a complaint, but my only really 
worry about this guy is he has constant motion so my question is how long will he last being turned on non-stop before the motor burns out or a gear breaks i hope he's built really well to where i don't have to worry about that but that is something i thought about with him being a techie toys animatronic and him having that motor in him how long will it be before that motor burns out we really don't know this guy is pretty new man look at that he's got a little indent on the nose really really good detail but we truly don't know how long it'll be before the motor burns out. So that's kind of my concern when I have them running all Halloween. But this is definitely an animatronic I've wanted in my collection for a while and I'm super excited to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.